Geralt, look!
Lucy Ann. Can we both get through? No! You must go alone! I'll come back with Siri. I know! Agarin! Cheer game!
The gentleman will follow. Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are. Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the North Guardians. You take care now. Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back.
You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ord. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck in the path, Witcher. Stolid till you no longer. <laughs> You're a hero and all mine, lucky me. Laugh if you will, but were it not for your Gordek returning and driving. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, 
tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. <laughs> 